Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 9 assignment of the course Introduction to Industry 4.1 on Internet of Things. So guys, uh, this Industrial Internet of Things course, so we, we have been giving solutions for various courses for the past 5 years guys. So please watch the video till then. Definitely subscribe our channel, like this video and please share that with your friends and classmates. So let's see the first question guys. Which of the following is not not a valid reason for employing fog computing in IIoT. So for first question, the answer is option C guys, devaluing existing functionalities of IIoT. So this is not a valid reason. reason. So option C is the correct answer for first question. Next, second one guys. Second one, which of the following statements is false? False about the fog enabled IIoT for smart grid and power industry. So for second question, the answer is option B guys, unidirectional communication between the consumer and supplier. So mark option B guys. Next moving on to the third question. Third question. Nebbiolo Technologies is one of the pioneers of fog computing. So which of the following products is not? You have to observe this. Not, not produced by Nebbiolo, Nebbiolo Technologies. So which of the following option containing the products is does not belongs to Nebibolo, Nebibolo Technologies. So for third question, if you see fourth option, Fog BCD, it is not produced by Nebibolo Technologies. So option D is the correct answer for third question. Next, fourth one guys, fourth question. SONM is a decentralized fog computing platform that renders distributed cloud services with fog as backend. Which of the following facilities is not, not supported by SONM? So for fourth question, the answer is option D guys, digital triplet, digital triplet. So mark option D. Next, fifth question. Fifth one. In R programming, it is compulsory to specify the data type at the time of variable declaration. State true or false. So for fifth question, the answer is option B, false guys. It is false. So there is no need to specify the data type in R programming at the time of variable declaration. So uh, mark option B. Next, sixth question guys. So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. For the course introduction to IOT 4.0, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs guys. You are getting a huge number of 300 MCQs. In a Google Drive PDF link, 300 MCQs, guys. So for one person, it is 300 rupees only. Last time we gave for 500 rupees for single person also. But in order to reduce the burden on students, we have decided to decrease the price. So for one person, it is now 300 rupees only. And for two to five persons, if you take it combinedly, you will get it for 500 rupees only, guys. Combinedly, 500 rupees for five members. So you can share the price among yourself. So it will be very much reduced amount for individual point of view so if your if your classmates are doing the same course along with you then you can take this two to five persons combinedly 500 pack guys if you are one person also no need to worry you can get it for 300 rupees only if you want to purchase any of the pdf uh, pdfs you can mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section guys
so with five years of NPTEL experience we have prepared guys these are the combination of our own hand hand curated answers mcqs as well as previous year solutions guys and this is pdf pack is one pack and there is second pack that is youtube membership sample pack here you will get 100 plus mcqs only but the price is also less only guys 89 per person so it is only for one person and for one month no need to pay me no need to mail me you can directly pay to youtube itself it is available in video format only so if you want that you have to purchase youtube membership guys so this is the second pack but this is only sample pack it, it doesn't cover much syllabus guys only 300 MCQs pack will cover more syllabus and touches every week. So if you want to purchase this sample pack, you can directly go to our channel page. S Kumar Edu sample pack, uh, means the page. Beside the subscribe button, there is join button. So click on this join button. Then a window will be appear like this. A window will appear like this. And select the second one, 89 per month pack. And click on join and make payment to directly to youtube that's it not me you can directly pay to youtube that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos so here you can see iot 4.1 industrial iot so part one and part two also prepared guys part one prepared here and part two is here so if you want to access this you have to join our channel as a member with 89 rupees only that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access for this pack but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 MCQs pack. Last time many solutions and questions were helpful for the previous students. So they have got very good grades guys by taking our pack. So 300 MCQs pack guys for one person it is 300 rupees only. And if you are two to five persons combinedly you can take it for 500 guys. So this is the mail ID you have to mail me. I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section. Now let's get back to the solutions guys. Sixth question. Which of the following can be used to calculate A power B? That means A raised to the power of B. So option C is the correct answer guys. So if you feel there should be any change of the solutions for any of the questions, if you differ with my solution, you can please free, feel free to comment guys positively again uh, regarding the solution that you feel but i think almost all solutions are 100 percent correct guys next seventh question seventh one which of the following operands is used to create series of numbers for a vector in r programming so for seventh question the answer is option c guys colon colon symbol so mark option C as correct answer for 7th question. Next, 8th one. Eighth question. Which of the following is supported by the Julia programming language? So for 8th question, all these three options are correct only guys. So mark option D, all of the above as the correct option for eighth question next ninth one ninth question which of the following represents the essential characteristics of cloud computing according to nist so for ninth question again the answer is option d guys option d all of the above Next, 10th one. 10th one. Why is it necessary to perform integration, which is a part of data pre-processing in the context of data management? So for 10th question, the answer is option B guys. Combining data from various sources. Combining data from various sources. So mark option B. Next, 11th one. 
11th question there are three main no sql databases the first one uh, first one is there are key value databases second one column oriented databases and third final one document oriented databases so state true or false so it is absolutely true guys so mark option a as correct answer for correct option for 11th question next 12th one 12th one in hadoop master or slave architecture the master serves read and write request from the file systems clients whereas slave executes the operations like opening closing and renaming files and directories state true or false so actually it, it is a absolutely false statement because here instead of master it should be slave and here instead of slave it should be master they just give, given reverse guys so false is the correct option that is option b guys next moving on to the 13th question 13th one which of the following is false about the big cube topology of the data center network so for 13th question the answer is option a follow switch oriented practice rather than server centric approach this is the false statement guys because actually it, it follows the server centric approach rather than switch oriented but they have given opposite so option a is the correct answer next fifth one uh, 14th one guys Fourteenth one, which of the following protocols is used by the SDN? So for fourteenth question, the answer is option B, open flow. Option B, open flow. Next, moving on to the final question. So before getting into this final question, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So we, are, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs for the course introduction to IOT 4.0 guys. So here you will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF link guys. So for one person it is 300 rupees only. And if you are 2 to 5 persons if you combinedly take the pack then it is 500 rupees. So team up with your classmates or friends guys who are preparing for the same exam guys. So for two to five persons, you can combinedly get it for 500. And if you are one person, it is just 300 rupees only guys. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs for the course introduction to IOT 4.0 guys and industrial IOT. So this is the mail ID you have to mail me. So only mail me if you want, if you want to purchase guys. For any other doubts, no need to mail me. You can ask me in the YouTube comment section itself. So this is the mail ID you have to mail me guys. bk179 gmail.com. So that's it guys. So regarding this, now let's get back to the solution, final solution. So 15th question, 15th one, which of the following is incorrect, incorrect about software defined networks. So for 15th and final question, the probable answer is option A guys, SDN increases complexity of traditional networks by separating the control and data planes. So option A is the probable solution for 15th question. So if you want to correct any of the solutions, you can please do it in the comment section positively guys. So that's it guys for this video. So keep supporting us like this. So please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share the video with your friends and classmates guys. And do, don't forget to take this 300 MCQs package. It is very much helpful for you in the preparation for the final exam. So that's it guys. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.